Hey, this is Ken Finnan from Capital Advantage Tutoring. It's my job to get you past the Series 7. So one of the big problems a lot of people have is how to figure out how to do the leverage ETF pricing. So let's get into it. So here we have the S&P, SPX two times ETF. They may call it 200%. If it's a 3X, they may call it 300%. Let's say we bought it at 50 bucks on day one. Now they're going to give you that scenario. And then they're going to say on day two, the S&P rose 10%. And day three, the S&P dropped 15%, some version of that number. Now, what's going to happen is you have to figure out what the price at the ending price is. Remember, always remember there's an annual, re there's a daily reset, a daily reset. The price resets every day and leveraged and inverse ETFs are good for day trading, not for long term. I buy them long term, but, but I'm a fucking idiot. So now we have to figure it out. We're starting at 50. And since it's a 2X or 200%, that means it's going to move twice as much as the index it's following. So here we have the S&P goes up 10%, which is, which means we're going to go up 20%. So $50 times 10% is five, double that is 20 is 10. So we're going to move up $10. So at the end of day two, our new ETF is now at 60 bucks. Okay. Are we okay with that? All right, it works for me. Now, the next day, that's our reset day. So we start the new thing at 60 so now the next thing that happened is the next day, ooh, the market drops 15%. If you guys remember, if the S&P does drop 15%, then what happens? We're going to have a circuit breaker at 7 and then one at 13. But let's, let's have to test for another day. Now let's get the calculator out, out and open. So market drops 15. That means we're dropping 30. So 60 times 30% is 18 minus 60. So our new price is now $42. So I'll walk you through that again. We started at 50. The market went up 10%. We're going to go up two, two times that, which is 20%. 20% of 50 is $10. We're now up 10 bucks at 60. Now, the next day, the market drops 15, which means we're going to drop 30 from 60. Okay, so that's $18, brings us to 42 that's our final price. Shouldn't be that hard. If you like what I'm doing, follow me on YouTube. Okay, now I'm going to do it inverse ETF. I did the leverage. The regular one you could probably figure out by doing that. Let's do an inverse ETF because this means it's going to go opposite. It has a negative beta, it has a negative one beta. You can also do negative two, negative three. You can do 2x, 3x, all that 200% or 300% negative, positive, whatever it is. But remember, the inverse, the two I'm doing, the inverse and the leverage, are not for long-term investing. They are for day trading, short-term shit. But remember, so the inverse ETF goes opposite of the market. So if the market goes up, it goes down. If the market goes down, it goes up. So some people believe it's a good hedge for a long position. I think it's too expensive. I think puts and maybe sell stops are better, even though sell stops are protection, not a hedge. But I think options are a better choice. But they do say it, so it could show up. So I start day one at $50. That's my base. Now the S&P goes up 10%. So we're going to go down 10%. So what's 10% of 50? That's going to be five bucks. 50 minus five, that's going to be $45. Boom. So now we're at $45. Easy stuff. Now we go to the third day. The S&P goes down 10%. So we're now going to go up 10%, but 10% of 45, not 10% of 50, because we reset. So we're going to go up $4.50. So if unless I do this math and embarrass myself, that should be up to $49.50. That's how we do this. It's so easy once you get it down. But look, isn't that funny? Even though it's not leverage or anything, it went, the S&P went down or up and then down the same percentage on separate days, and you actually come back at a lower number. Same thing with a regular ETF. If you went up 10%, and then it went up to 55, and then you went down 10%, the S&P went down 10%, you go down 550, you would end up actually lower than you where you started. So that's the thing with the ETFs, if the market goes up and then down the same percentage, you're actually going to be worse off than you were before. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening in. Let's pass the Series 7 exam. We got this.